Writing task B, describe your best friend. Oh God, not this again. What qualities do you admire in them? What are their favorite activities? Blah, blah, hobbies, letter. Write your response as a letter to your friend in French. Well, shit. This exam was going so well until now. I never know what to write for these questions. I mean, do I make up a best friend or do I talk about Sam? I can do all the grammar exercises. It's just expressing myself that's the hard part. I'm never going to be fluent. I mean, that was the aim. Speak French like a Frenchman. Well, actually, the aim was to pick up chicks by sounding like a Frenchman, but it hasn't really worked out yet. French is not like maths, where there's only one right answer. Like, even if you learn all the words in the dictionary, it doesn't mean you can speak the language. A whole group of guys went over to France on exchange. Although apparently it was just this non-stop root fest with all the naughty angels. Is that it? Pillow talking your way to fluency? And there are all these traps in the language. Like the word baiser means to kiss and to fuck and the only difference is context. I mean, who would do that? I can imagine some sad French dude thinking that up just to make it hard for, for people like me. Sam and I do everything together. Eat, piss, muck about in French. We steal all the whiteboard markers when our teacher's late to class. We would sit together too, but Monsieur Edgerton likes the seating alphabetical, so Sam's been put right in front of me. It does get a bit annoying, his head blocking my view all the time. Especially on Friday afternoons when we get to watch a film. Apparently, all French movies are called films. Sometimes I tap him on the shoulder and when he turns around, I flick a rubber band at him. Although I haven't really been doing that recently. His parents are going through a divorce and he comes to school all like morose, you know? Like, he smiles and all that, but you can see it in his eyes. He's hurting pretty bad inside. In class, he stopped turning around. He just sits, hunched over, fidgets with his pencil case. It's been a shit year for him. He wanted to get into like the first basketball, but they moved him down instead because he's become sort of distant. And I asked him about it. He just jabbed me in the arm with his locker key. I don't have such grand aspirations. I, um, I wanted to be head librarian. I got it because I can wrap books better than the teachers can. That and I don't steal the sex ed books. The Kama Sutra, a graphic guide. Avoiding gonorrhea for dummies. Gonorrhea. Sounds like a name from Shakespeare, doesn't it? Cordelia, Regan, gonorrhea. I've got a badge too for the library. It's gold and shiny. I'm in love with Sam. I'm in love with my best friend. Don't know how it happened, just somewhere along the line of listening to his secrets and seeing how hurt he was, I realized how much I care. I want to hold him, tell him everything's going to be OK. What is happening to me? Like, like my heart beats faster when he's around and I can't think about anybody else. I don't need that, especially not in a French exam, but I can't help it. I can't control it. I try and do my homework, but my mind keeps wandering and I'm sitting in French over and over again. Mr. Regidon's playing a film, but I'm watching Sam. I see the outline of his face silhouetted against the projector screen. 
I want to see his eyes, touch his cheek, press my lips to his, and it scares me shitless. I googled how to tell a guy you like him, but all the results are about how much makeup to use. I wouldn't dare say a word to him. I mean, how would I even start? Hi, Sam. Hope your parents haven't murdered each other yet. I'm gay. Are you gay? Do you want to cuddle or something? I'm afraid. Afraid that I'll ask him to kiss me and he'll get the wrong idea. I think I'm a creep, you know? It's not because he's a boy, he just happens to be one. And I can't figure out whether that makes it wrong or special. I know what my mates would say. One time we went down to the beach, just laughing and mucking about. But, you know, tanning his skin cells in trauma, so I offered to put sunscreen on Sam's back. He just smiled, said it was fine, but the other guys howled me down, didn't let me forget how gay I'd acted. Charlie's a puff da. But I don't want to forget. I don't want to forget Sam running back from the surf, shaking the water out of his hair, big grin on his face. I want what's best for him, I, I really do. But I also want him for myself. I want to be what's best for him. Am I just being selfish? He's my best friend and he means more to me than any band six exam mark. Maybe the best thing to do is just keep this inside and squash it. But I don't want to betray him. He trusts me. He opens up to me. Shouldn't I do the same? Charlie's a puff da. You always hear people say it's weird and just not normal. But isn't that the point of love? to transcend normalness and become something special. Maybe the French would even back me. I mean, Amour is a masculine noun. I have to take the plunge. Open my mouth and tell that beautiful boy how I feel. A letter. Mon cher Samuel, je t'aime.